Feet from collegeprepresults.com. Today I wanted to show you a couple resources that you could use to help determine whether your SAT score or ACT score is high enough. You can see I'm here on the home page of the College Board website, collegeboard.org. I am going to go to the College Search feature, which right here in this column that starts with College Planning is right here. You could also access it from up at the very top where you see the black box with the College Board acorn. I push that button and you can again see College Planning, College Search. Clicking on that, it's going to bring us up to the Big Future College Search page. And if you don't know what schools you're interested in, this is a wonderful tool to play around with. You can sort schools using all of these features you see in the boxes here on the left. But what I'm interested in today is, are my SAT scores high enough? And so I'm going to pick a couple schools that might be on my list and because I know them, I'm gonna go up to the top right corner and type in names. Now I could type in full names, but let's say I'm interested in TCU, Texas Christian University, with my autocorrect not helping me today. And I can click on the name of the school and it brings up their profile here on the college search. A Lot of good information, but for what I want to do, I'm going to go over to the left hand side where it says applying and I'm going to click on applying. Again, lots of great information including how selective the school is. That's important to pay attention to. But if I want to know about SAT scores, I go down to the tab that says SAT and ACT scores. And here I can see it says how do my scores stack up? The mid-range shows where the middle 50% of admitted students fall with their test scores. I love being able to see that range of numbers that's so much more valuable than a simple average, but I can scroll down even further and get additional details. Oh, 13% of their admitted students scored between seven and 800, and I can toggle back and forth between evidence-based reading and writing and math where I can see the numbers change a little bit and determine are my scores in line with this particular school. Some schools will also have some additional ACT data. I can see that here, easy to find. Keep in mind College Board is the organization that brings us the SAT. So shouldn't be surprising that you'll find SAT data for the schools listed, but may or may not find ACT numbers for all of these. So if I can look at what the general standards are for a school here, in this case, TCU, let's say I'm scoring a 670 in both reading and math. That looks pretty strong. That's on the upper side of, of the half that are getting in, but it doesn't mean I'm guaranteed admission. If I went back to what it started with up at the top of the initial page on applying, you can see that there were a lot of other factors that they're gonna consider clicking on the what's important tab. All of those other factors are here. But using that tool and being able to look up SAT and ACT scores and get a little more data can be very, very helpful.